ዌልኮም ለ22 ኛው የአርክቴክቸር ወርሃዊ ሴሽን እንደምንም እንደምንም ብለን 22 ኛው ሴሽን ላይ ደርሰናል ይሄ 22 ኛው ሴሽን እንግዲህ ወርልድ ክላስ ሲቲ በሚለው ቶፒክ ላይ አሁን በጣም ዲስከሽን ላይ ስለከተሞች ብዙ እየተባለ ነው በእኛም አካባቢ ያሉ ብዙ ግስቃሴዎች አሉ ከዛ ረገድ እንግዲህ አርክቴክቶች ፐርስፔክቲቭ እና ይሄ በተለይ ወርልድ ክላስ ሲቲ የሚለው ሐሳብ ምንድነው የሚለውን ለመነጋገር ነው የዛሬውን ፕሮግራም ያዝ ነው እና ወርሃዊው የሚያተኩረው ዛ ላይ ነው ስለዚህ ሰላማዊት ወንድሙ ፒኤችዲ ካንዲዴት ዩኒቨርሲቲ ኦፍ ግሪንዊች ግብዣችንን አክብረሽ በመገኘትሽ በዚህ ፕሮግራም በአድማጮች ባባላትስም በጣም አመሰግናለሁ እሺ ብሩክ ቴንክ ዩ ዌላ ያለው ዩኒቨርሲቲ ኦፍ ሼፊልድ ነው ትንሽ ቢክ ቢት ኢትስ ኦኬ ያ አንድ ዲስክሌመር ከመጀመሪያ በፊት ስፔሻሊቲ ወር ያ ሪሰርች ፎከስ ኢ ወርልድ ክላስ ሲቲ ሜኪንግ አይደለም ግን አሁን ወቅታዊ ጉዳይ ስለሆነ እና ብዙ ፐብሊክ ዳያሎግ ተደረገበት ስለማላይ ለዛ ነው ይሄን ቶፒክ ለዚ ዲስካሽን የመረጥኩት ሶ ዋናው ፕረዘንቴሽን የሆነው ወርልድ ክላስ ሲቲ ምንድነው ምን አይነት ኔጌቲቭ ኢምፕሊኬሽኖች አሉት አሁን ዴቨሎፕ እየተደረገ ያለው ያ ስራ አመት ቅድቃ ምን አይነት ግንኙነት አለው ሚሊዮን ባጭሩ ዳስተን ከዛ ወደ ዲስካሽን ለመግባት ነው ሶ እንደምናቀው አዲስ አበባ በጣም እየተቀየረሽ ነው በፍጥነት ከዛም ባለፈ አገራችን የኢኮኖሚ እና የፖለቲካ ሪፎርም ፕሮሰስ ላይ ናት ያለችው we are slowly liberalizing እና ያው እንደምታወቀው ሁሉም ነገር ከተሞች ላይ ተጽዕኖአለው የኢኮኖሚ ሪፎርሙ በተወሰነ ከተሞች ላይ ተጽዕኖ ያመጣ ነው so አንዱ የዚህ ተጽዕኖ መገለጫ ከተሞች ላይ የሚደረጉ global capital ለመሳብ ታስቦ የሚሰሩ ኢንፍራስትራክቸሮች ላይ ትኩረት መደረጉ የዚህ አንድ ገጽታ ነው in the phenomenon world class city making in the world in more detail in gaba betallen gin lemin ehe topic ndemeretku bachiru nemegletsna so majemena what is a world class city ya hasabu ka world city ga naw kinyunnetu lachin minnaqo you know the cosmopolitan city the global city the alpha city sipar babzanyaw ye global south katamoch አይዲል አርጋንም እንይዘው ኒውዮርክ ቶኪዮ ፓሪስ በጣም ኮምፓክት ሃይ ራይዝ ዴቨሎፕመንት ክሊን ስትሪትስ ቢግ ኦፕን ፐብሊክ ስፔሰስ ያሉባቸው ከተሞች ናቸው ወርልድ ክላስ ሲቲ ስንል ግን እነዚህን ወርልድ ሲቲዎች ዳይሬክትሊ ለማለት ሳይሆን የነዚህን ወርልድ ሲቲዎች ኢሜጅ ይዘው የሚገነቡ ከተሞች ለማለት ነው so what a world cities been been uh, hit you know what are, what are world cities primarily they are uh, primary nodes in the global economic network malatum uh, there are places where global business is done so there's an accumulation of global capital in these cities so uh, hey leon uh, michelo and then it's because they are connected with a lot of other nodes uh we'll think adamo it's because they are the location of major corporate headquarters or specialized service firms which are they or they are part of organizing the world economy that's why they're important that's why wealth is accumulated there but you know all cities are not uh, world cities yeah uh, gibson no no all cities are not equally connected or even connected at all so hey lemond no less and i where we're talking about global economic inequality malatum in the world economic system ya agaroch wey mitetemoch bota mi wosenaw detno bilal ngetiyekna so you know during the cold war there were two major schools of thought the good dialle and the modernization theory no malatum Uh, its outlook towards capitalism is positive it says uh, one now if a country can get integrated into the global economy 
uh, it can progress on to modernity, right? We can catch up, we can create those cities and that lifestyle will occur, no? On the other side, the most structural is Madla, and this is more the communist school of thought. And Ziga de Moello, the Alamachen economic structure around who it marginalizes poor countries and uh, it exploits poor countries in the uh, approach now. And now, under this, uh, one now uh, drive it to make sure inequalities within a country are uh, decreased. Uh, again, you know, since all the evidence is counter since the Cold War ended, it's been almost 30 years, uh, both sides seem to have a grain of truth, my little. Uh, as countries are being integrated into the world economy, people are being lifted out of poverty. So modernization theory, in a way, it is, there is truth to it. On the other hand, uh, there's also truth to the communist or structuralist outlook, not because uh, inequalities within countries are rising. So in I'm a global economic inequality, Poverty is not the same in all countries. In core countries, uh, the economic core, when world cities it's relative poverty in the sense that uh, you live below the average person in your country, you're designated poor. If we look at peripheral countries, global south, you find absolute poverty, which means you are barely able to survive basic necessities. It's, it's a question of survival, you know? We have absolute poverty. So, hey, Bona, but we're looking at African cities now in the last five, 10 years, starting to open up their doors to the world economy, trying to attract global capital, Malatno. It's part of the process of being integrated into the global economy. Your cities start to connect with other cities, start to become uh, competitive with other uh, cities. That's part of the modernization theory in Benicata. That's part of the ideal of you know, urban economic development is to start to get integrated into the global system. So Ethiopia position is limited in 2018, we were the fifth uh, biggest host economy for global capital. Hey, Africa is too small now. So, absolutely, capital is there. What industrialization, way more agriculture, be more. And more and more, we're starting to see this capital venture into the urban sphere. So that's why today this conversation is about world city making. We are in a position where we aren't yet integrated or integrated fairly into the global economy but we are opening our doors to global capital. So hey, we have a risk, we have a feature, we have a lot of people who are in the world cities. So the world-class city is an idea. And when a city is trying to become a world-class city or is in the process of world-class city making, it, it is not yet integrated. Uh, but it's trying to project an image of a world city so as to, tr to attract global capital. So that's the main difference between a world class city making project and an actual world city. So Bob Zanyo, it's driven by, you know, aspirational politicians, city officials all over the global south, but uh, South Africa, Latin America, clearly they say we want to achieve world class city status. And it has really serious consequences for the poor. So let me know why does it have consequences for the poor bless in Malikat? It doesn't really take into consideration uneven development. When we were looking at the position within the world system, you know, the core countries, and the peripheral countries, they're not uh, evenly developed. So when a peripheral country is trying to project the image of a world-class city, it means there are factors that it's ignoring. Most commonly, the biggest thing being poverty. Uh, citizens that are not deemed world class, it could be street uh, children, it could be 
street uh, traders, slum dwellers, slums rasacho, they become an antithesis of the world class city making project. So there is a drive to kind of erase slums, remove uh, the signs of poverty from public space and from uh, the ar architectural or urban built environment. So, hey, no, Kenya, my Ganayo, world class city making, Mnainet effect on architecture, on urban space, Milans in Malakatno. So, we got to look slide, which I took them directly from Arif Hassan's presentation, which is really a presentation on world class city concepts. Arif Hassan is a Pakistani architect, planner, and activist. And this area is very important. Karachi is very So, uh, one now he summarizes it as the world class city agenda is one that is very important. It is very important to me. It is very important to me. It is very important to The highest fountain, the biggest uh, building, the, uh, the appearance of something iconic that can brand a city. Uh, cultural, industrial, uh, some point of branding cities becomes very, very important. High rise apartments become important. Catering to tourism becomes important, sometimes at the expense of local commerce. This is one of the tensions in the Benembe Explorum in Nadargo. And now, you know, the feature of flyovers, overpasses, uh, you know, visible huge infrastructural projects are pursued. And now, Zoro Zoro Nezinagro Chulumit, it's to not. It, it's, uh, of course, they have direct social benefits, but the main idea is to uh, attract further investment. So they're called investment friendly infrastructures. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. So, no, no. continue. So, how is this happening? One of the things we're starting to see is global capital coming in in the form of projectized urbanism. But I'm going to talk about the construction sites. Um, yeah, you're good. Can you reception? It's good. good. Madam Bissamad. Yeah, so Zim slide lay a long text. You said good. Karif Hassan's presentation lay. He talks about global capital desperately looking for a home in new places, new investments that have better returns. So one of the ways this happens is relative development for new, rich, middle class, upper class, or tourists in uh, developing cities, Maletno. So here we can clearly see it in, uh, in, in this project, I'm sorry. Tourist resorts, yep. on beaches, uh, commercial plazas become uh, a focus and they usually uh, replace informal settlements. So there's a cleaning up of slums to build more lucrative projects that have better returns for global capital, not for local capital, but for global capital. So negative repercussion in Orichlalin and Sinel, the most obvious thing is poverty is pushed out, social and political fragmentation, uh, violence, because most of these spaces become ex exclusionary um, and also the economy becomes exclusionary. It starts to you know, show in crime rates, violence, and the creation of a new underclass. Uh, and Nazim, they're coming out of Arif Hassan's slide. So Leila Menayo, uh, in major bylaws or zoning regulations, uh, very anti-street, anti-pedestrian, anti-mixed land use, anti-dissolved space approach development. Most physical and social form starts to be driven by global capital. You know, Ethiopia has been following a protectionist economic policy for years. So we haven't really been exposed to global capital and its influence on urban space yet. Uh, but you know, looking at some of the developments in our economic planning now, this is a possibility in future where global capital can have a much bigger share in defining physical and social form in cities. Leila uh, aspect, it's 
projects start to replace planning. Um, I did not write this down thinking about what's happening in Addis. This is again from Arif Hassan's slide. Uh, specific projects, uh, global capital coming into specific investment projects like real estate projects replaces, you know, comprehensive planning. Uh, this is one of the major features. The image show it's land use. The main determinant of land use starts to become land value. Now, this is already the case because we say it's based on land value that we uh, designate land use. But uh, there's the, the considerations of social and environmental issues. Uh, it becomes more and more prominent uh, as land value increases. Mm. Uh, okay, feel free to jump in if you have any ideas or questions. We can we can yeah. start that. So actually, so, internet yeah. internet was in a slide on. Hasabun Tru Yagana Bashu Salamatash, and Adagmo Nazi development like research at the Rabutinum Savuchi Yasto Workshan Salahona, Tru proceed at Regini, Yakirchin Sabarigi Basi Queen Salatar. So, Lelo, what architectural or urban space making lays in Matalo influence the world class city making process? It's It has a universalizing or homogenizing. Uh, tendency. Malatim, yeah, urban space aesthetics in Miwasado, it's from the original world cities. So in a way, it's, uh, it's an approach that says, you know, uh, it's not really urbanization. These are not yet cities. A city has to look this way to be a city of the world. Yemila approach Malatim. And now is the picture lay on the Gahar project lay on no Sinimalekat. There are just a few things that you can reflect on on the picture lay. You know, if you really ask where is this, this can be anywhere uh, except Mahalle Yalachu building. Uh, this picture can be anywhere. Because it's a very universal image of the world city. Sikatel, who is in the space belongs in Malakat? Who is missing in the space belongs in Malakat? Do we really see uh, the majority of Addis Ababa's uh, dwellers in this picture? Malatim mangerle min naiotsi. The actual reality of uh, poverty right now is it at all? visible in this picture. Where do the street dwellers go? Where do the street vendors go? Taxi uh, to where, where do all these things fit within this image of, you know, the Paris type cafe culture uh, aesthetic? Milong diya yeme te yeme chalalem. Lelong gidi, strategic planning ka iya azal. Malatim mahun in a riverside project from Lao Saleh bin Malakat. It's a wonderful project. Uh, it's bringing in a lot of uh, investment into the city that is really needed. But then when you try to think about the strategic questions it raises, uh, but I'm happy to discuss this. So I'm going to picture Again, when you ask, where is this? This could be anywhere. You, know, you see the high rises in the background. You see the boulevard type pedestrian streets and the clean water. This could be literally anywhere. And now, who will use these spaces? How often will they use these spaces? How will this affect the land value behind this development? Who will benefit from this land value uh, capture or gain? And now, what will happen to the neighborhoods behind this? So, the, so one of the things about global capital is, uh, you know, or reproduce a market tendency. So the neighborhood behind this becomes a big opportunity for further global capital to come in to develop further real estate that can have high returns and so on and so forth. There also reproduce a market tendency. So, who is living now in, in, in these areas? Kate name at Tut. Lemd knows you what I'm an orest for the catcher. What it name it. 
So how are they surviving right now? How will their lives change? And most importantly, will they be more productive? Will they be economically uh, important to the city? Will they have a piece of the economy of the city in the south? Another picture, again, this is also about architectural urban space. Uh, it's pictures It's Makale. It's just a, a small secondary road in Makale. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are very interesting. In yeah, again, uh, okay. you see the cast yeah. culture here, and you see the streets uh, vendor food stalls on this picture, right? Ah. And the Yaki, and the Yaki Gunadling, Yamakalio picture like Buna Vituchu, so what you by Photoshop, what don't know, indeed, please. Do not tell you that let's again. Yo, Yarkitect Tain and then Gizzy. Please, please proceed. Yeah, so Zingas in America, two Yaki actually had a sound. This is a title, probably to Hatti to the sub picture Mona Lepetinji. Probably, yes. Mexico mi maslal color ochu the purple you know but I'm bold colors again it's a very interesting picture proceed but I'm interesting yeah so I mean you can just look at the space and look at the economy of this space street vendor ochu or small cafes or you know waste management system was you like tayal. Uh, it's yeah. a it's a much smaller scale, but it's more uh, suited to the community it's serving. You can arrive at the unkaller, but you can't get a job. Or yeah, no, no, they be actually get a car arrival. So again, you can do more things. You can make a crazy guess. I think yet now he bought a pipan. Because you make a switch land. Man, he bought a mitakama. How often? Zih, hey, you know. Ya cobblestone ulam sali mangga di zikam seratu mana ni tak kamu? Ina zibe touch value macam maru mana ni tak kamu? Kasi jarbaya luna berudu cili tidak efekt mitar ragut. So ya tak cina um picture mana? Of course ya telai ya skill lai ya luka tak mungkin aja, ya telai ya urban space mungkin aja. Okay, we can also ask similar questions. Ina space kalau kita bawa lah kita kerap bawa lah ya radam. Pedestrian street. At this, that the coming one of demographic man, Kate, now me matter. Why are they here? Income at all, Kate, now. How will their lives change? And now, will they be more productive as a result of the changes we have made? Economically speaking, the intervention made there. Zigar not so much, many had more productive other cultural in terms of economic returns. So, uh, in I'll reflect about what's happening in Addis. I just want to zoom out of Addis and look at other world class city uh, case studies. Yamajar Mara, it's uh, Delhi's experience. Sorry, Mumbai, the Malik, the Likian, or the Mumbai experience, no? Uh, hey, 2005, Jamro, the World Bank, the uh, GAF, yet several, but explicitly, we are building, we are transforming Mumbai into a world class city below. Running a remote project now, and it's a best case scenario of world city, world class city making. Uh, but I'm carefully you now design it at a go. Haphazardly, or project by project, Saihon, it was a city business plan, Tazagajto, a housing policy for the state, Tazagajto, a beautification project, Toshinabaru, regulation, which carefully, the real estate, Zurial regulation, which the land, Zurial regulation, which review, Tadarga, your transportation interventions, planning interventions, your road transport system interventions. But I'm planted or go, it is a rapid uh, case study. When we look at what it has done to the city, uh, there's a book uh, by uh, Gertner that's really famous around this uh, project. 
So uh, Gartner starts to talk about ruling by aesthetics. Marit Lehiort, the process became uh, uh, definition directly a practice of evaluating territory based on its adherence to aesthetic norms. So the value or the, the significance or the importance of uh, any urban space, uh, one now major criteria evaluate madrigal, it's it's aesthetics. So automatically even denominator. Slamuch, they rank very low, so they are quickly removed. So I've just put down the contents page of the book because you know there's not enough time to discuss it in depth. Yeah. The one of the some of the major themes he comes uh, up with are uh, governing through property, uh, how you know slums become a nuisance, how there's a sense of not belonging. Uh, by citizens, by dwellers, and uh, there's massive resettlement connected with this process. Now, this is not to say that, uh, you know, documented this is, this is, these are some of the effects that are, you know, well known. Uh, we can take a very negative case just to balance it out. Uh, the most negative case in I've been able to find, which also comes out with uh, about this case, is the Nairobi case. So Nairobi came out with a plan called Nairobi Metro 2030, a world-class African metropolis. And again, uh, defining Adarago, it's the intentional concerted effort to uh, create the image of the world city and uh, revitalize architecture, revitalize urban neighborhoods. That was the main uh, effort. So Kazibuhala Alu maybe so slide on. Constance Smith now served her new book, Nairobi in the Making, looks at precarious architecture, world-class futures, and urban belonging. I highly recommend it. So uh, this, these areas are called Goropas in Nairobi. These areas were formerly uh, predominantly slums. They have been cleared and they are being developed by private developers. So the land is parceled out, sold to private uh, developers, and they develop these buildings. In the Manacho, they are usually dropped as four, five, eight, or more. Uh, quality lace and meta, we find major, major problems. Now, they have title deeds, they have commissioned architectural plans, they are signed off by county offices. Merit lazy Ordegan, they're very different from what's on the plans. Why? Because there's corrupt construction industry and supervision by city councils is not strong. So, Kazim Balefaya on the metal construction, it's not, uh, uh, you know, of the highest standard. Because uh, these neighborhoods pop up really fast, uh, drainage is a problem, sewage is a problem, uh, services, electricity, water is rushed and intermittent. Nazia uh, Menor, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's got its challenges. The worst part is most of these buildings collapse. The degree of corruption and uh, unethical practice in the construction industry is so bad. It has, it has gotten to a point where people associate or call these buildings fake buildings, fake architecture, because, you know, and like in most uh, play African cities, you know, we counterfeit counterfeit beggars, counterfeit car dealers, or uh, so this building, the Zawa Kahid, they are seen as fake buildings. They aren't really buildings. Yeah. It's a collapsed building. It's a collapsed building. So, so this is rampant. This is happening in huge areas of land. So this is another collapsed site. 
and uh, market now people have started talking about how strong is your building as if that's supposed to be in question right? so this is the extent to which corrupt or unethical construction industry you know advanced uh, backed up by the pursuit of cleaning up the image of a city can have negative effects uh, fake architecture I, I wanted to bring in this case of uh, this model house that was built for, uh, for an art exhibition and they, the name of it was, it was called This is not a house. So it looks like a house. It's, it's got all the components of a physical dwell, uh, dwelling. Okay? It's not connected to any electricity. All the plugs don't go anywhere water, sewage, nothing. It's not connected to anything, to any services, to any uh, kind of infrastructure. So yeah, can we really call this uh, dwelling a house? That was the Yazihi art piece, Hassab uh, Sunabbara. So fake architecture, I also thought about this, so I just included it in the slides. So, Tamil is an Ethiopia when Yad Saban, Yasramat plants in Malakat. There is no explicit mention of world class city building uh, uh, in the 10 year plan, which is positive. Uh, but there is, but there are really ambitious numbers of uh, developments planned. You know, I'm saying condominium of people, in the budget period, so smatu samana arat, she gambitana, ahun badi supla, smatu samana she developed a matrimita. Privately built housing, unit But real estate for much, unit So I'll be honest, I haven't looked at the document in detail. Uh, but uh, you know, a post on Twitter by Robel uh, it was uh, it really got me thinking. Uh, you know, yet Clearly, the limits of uh, the city, uh, you know, because of political, social reasons, are, uh, you know, not negotiable at the moment. So uh, it's going to be infill mostly. So what's going to change? Which neighborhoods are going to be redeveloped? Or which empty spaces are going to be filled in by these housing projects? And who is going to build them? How is the construction sector going to cope? Do we, does the construction sector have the capacity to to build at these rates. Uh, the construction sector capacity build in Aragallan and will drive in Dalla, but you know, how fast is that going to happen in 10 years? And what risks are associated with this in Milonaga? Uh, it's just something I feel there needs to be more conversation about. Scoundrels, I haven't really seen much conversation on this issue. So, ka housing what I've learned from all the children I grew up in Malakat. In the image, we're all aside of those slides. Slides, ka hun ya yani alano, by infrastructure zura or by urban investment zura ya yani alano. Global investment in the basabu chulu infrastructural project to slide do onai thana. But you know, there's a, there's a lot of work we've already done that diagnoses the problems in our cities. And the problems in our cities are, are many. There are many more. So uh, how, how do these things come together? World-class city making effort and you know, the effort of actually addressing some of our urban challenges and you know, working with uh, the existing urban fabric, the existing urban economy. How do these things interact with the uh, in Europe? So um, I was thinking about this and I had, uh, I, uh, I wanted to bring in for the, in a conversation on uh, to look at uh, an interesting case. I wanted to bring in the DACA structural plan and uh, discuss it because I think it does a lot that goes beyond the image that uh, addresses, addresses uh, integration into the global economy, global competitiveness, while also thinking about inequality and our current uh, poverty. So, 
ከዚህ ላይ የወሰዱት አንድ አምስት ፖይንተሮች አሉ and the next five slides will just be discussing those uh የመጀመሪያው its rule of law uh, you know stringent construction industry uh you get to its planning you know how, how are we planning uh our cities becoming globally competitive does the 10 year plan really look at our cities as globally competitive cities or does it address urban issues only urban problems more or less uh migetlo implementation lay no ka fdi mi meta economic growth how do we make sure it doesn't exasperate inequalities he da mo doesn't necessarily even need to be katamale focused you know or uh urban space like focus you on allow it to be the industrial parks for instance the industrial uh, industrial parks investor option namasa yemisaru massive infrastructure projects how do they affect inequalities in cities uh lelo commitment to functionality you know the idea that we show fake architecture you know the house without any connections to anything is not functional so how do we stay committed to functionality is the fourth point and finally how do we ensure local productivity continues to rise mm. so as you point out i think there's a lot uh, that we can kind of take away from uh, the dhaka plan you must remember now it's not really coming from the dhaka plan but just reflections on the nairobi case maybe zile bruke kantam gabzu we can discuss further okay our construction industry Uh, the ethical standards the efficiency of our local uh, construction industry has to drastically uh, change transform and uh, grow in order to cope with the demand that is coming coach if you do construction for much of lino rich lalu but despite this it's it's imperative at this point because it's dangerous so we must we have a, a pretty safe uh, construction industry but this is not guaranteed when the speed the uh, the economics of construction changes uh, you know less ethical practice of climate which lalu so this is something we really have to think about uh, and the other the, the second question is of course planning you know how can our cities be globally competitive plan here they are going now yeah hon buzu gize our plans are trying to address the urgent issues of uh dealing with the problems directly me met some problems solve them adreg ruchale no bizu gize yalle no okay is there a way to to make sure that our global uh, that our cities are really competitive and not by attracting necessarily global capital but also by working on efficiency of our cities so efficiency in and they can now inchalle ya data plan le it it looks that for things it looks about at uh, livability you know how livable is our city you know this has to do with uh, the compactness of land use connectivity uh, how productive are we as we move around our day maybe we can just reflect on our own, on our own experiences but how productive was your day today moving around the city you know coming from your home experiencing the transport and coming into work uh let's start good day what test gaba yallo uh situation how productive is it allowing you to be how productive is it allowing the majority of the uh, urban poor or urban uh population to to function so so staying out it's about the functionality of the city basic services which you, you can't really uh, compromise basic services you can't really deprioritize basic services because at the end of the day you know unless you plug in to a basic service system uh, the city is not functional it's not attractive to investment yep lelo uh, structural plan implementation monitoring system you no know? meaning you know title deeds on your land value uh, even higher when you know but you you know the problems around uh, making sure you know ownership is transparent and uh, plans are actually monitored these all become significantly more important so these are all things that we need to think about in terms in thinking about global competitiveness bias about 
Lilo, how can we ensure FDI-induced growth does not exasperate inequalities? Uh, well, it's clear that we need global investment to come in. It's, it's not by any way to say, as for the data level, I'm saying what? Global investment will make it up easy. Uh, there is an area that we need to pay careful attention to, Malatin. Um, so far, we've been extremely social protectionist. Um, the more we get to the extreme, can we hit more balanced on approach? Mostly not open gap. So, Zale, uh, the national uh, land use plan, which Lem Zale, that is mostly the economic and employment density, and it's not much of a matter of that. Priority locations, uh, physical and social infrastructure, getting your infrastructure no priority is about in order to make sure that, you know, high employment density they get the services and infrastructure that they require. So hey, it starts with national land use planning. Which parts of the city require most infrastructural investment? It's when we start to decide what the use of different parts of the city is. And now, uh, I mean, right now there is already effort to do uh, national land use planning. It's still in process. I'm sure yet, yeah, I'm starting to plan the that will also be finished. But these are the things we need to kind of, uh, like, uh, what I think we should raise, I suppose, when we are thinking about the land use plan, infrastructure, and uh, investment. Lilo, it's elevating informal economic activities. space informal economic activities are basically removed. We, they are missing from the picture. At least there should be alternative spaces where the informal sector is partially accommodated. Uh, you know, uh, high density can spaces where uh, informal informal markets or uh, Small scale, uh, or small scale businesses can thrive. Local businesses can thrive. And now, can these areas get higher or more? housing policy, special planning, can they be? They can adjust more in order to the market or high density economic activity. A lot of people are coming to the country. Many of them are coming. Affordable housing is coming. Behind, it ensures that uh, you know. Poverty is addressed at both ends, and productivity is raised. I don't know. Uh, Lila is prudently managing growth areas. Get them already mentioned. Are you allowing? How long is the investment in Myanmar to project of plants in that? Like the industrial parks, we also need to think about special need. No, we are going to integrate the Myanmar. And now, require Myanmar to achieve functional. Which are we yet going to put away? So the infrastructure, the services, uh, these need to also, we need to also think about the social services and infrastructure that come along with the big uh, world-class making projects. Okay, this is, I think, my last, one of my two last slides. So, uh, I hope we're, we're, we're good on time. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Leila, you know, how can we, uh, uh, the other parts of, you know, ensuring inequalities are not exasperated is investing in infrastructure and effective land use management. Eh? It's, it's uh, the most critical part. You know, with, with land value rising, if, uh, you know, if we follow the tendency or the nature of global capital, it has a way of overwhelming land use in cities. Uh, so, young and date no balance are going to be made below Milo Negar. It should, it should really, we should be doing careful planning around this. When we develop something like a uh, public space that is very high end, we need to be also thinking about the neighborhoods behind these public spaces. Uh, how land value changes will affect the current dwellers, uh, what kind of services uh, are required along with these high value uh, projects. So, the land use management uh, carefully, strategic project, what 
we need to also be looking at the more wider land use management around it. No, we should remain committed to functionality. Uh, when we are prioritizing investment in these large um, investment friendly infrastructure projects, functionality based on drainage, water supply, solid waste management. Uh, healthcare, sewage, you know, uh, almost to, uh, you know, to the same degree, investment as well got one, planning as well got one, focus as well got one. So, on at Sabah Mita waste management is a really critical issue at the moment. But uh, I'm not sure you're there, Brook, yeah. Uh, urban center. No, no, no. Uh, all the sectors that we talk about, we talk about the most important ones. The sewage, the drainage, the water supply issues—they are critical issues. So, global capital when we go about it, we are not just talking about projects. We are talking these projects need to continue to, uh, you know, command our attention. So basically, in this natural point of Chilazario presentation, these are some of the materials I've used. I can share the slides uh, and we can discuss more of the points. Uh, thank you, Salam. But I'm but as in a detailed presentation, no, but I'm interesting as a watch not show the archer slide just again. As a watch, you can allow my case study now, Carlo Mude, but I'm to work. Uh, I think topic on Yetamarata, but on Katamach like a middle Kasakasians are. But a lay circle, but a lay architect to community, but planning community to steer Lusa watch, the Yakimans at Jim Rolina. Becky, we get to Chum yet a Dragon Salal Hone, Kazabata Chamari Damo, Bahariacho, La Yetialu, and Dom Bamangus, the mega project of Chimbarum yet a Saruno, a Katamam Becker Gzi. Cafetania, Lot Masayeta, Carona, Lazan, a conversation on world class city. Because Bizum architect which debate Aragaru, a social media on Covid Selamat at Nish platform with Abunomji, Bazi architects were how we platform, Bessafula Mosadita Savalena. I think Yamaja Mario initiation, Kanchiga Yandani conversation, but I'm to presentation also Amasa Ganado, then whether. Hasabuchu Stilenta. Um, and you be safu frameworks in Melecato, uh, modernization uh, and definition as Kapat Shepat Mangadina is a global uh, capital, a global uh, international influence which are it will a disabost me and a parent no yo. A disabaratenio uh, diplomatic Katamanich, uh, a diplomatic Makanich tablum, a Kamatalina. Cold War era, Kababi and a Baron challenge in Nakazabo had a long task of Michi, and the Metalin has sub. It opposed the Basafu in the Mele, that is a modernization Milo concept, still vaguely defined it at the Raga, and the Ganademo, and ya architecture planner Ruchin Bichasaihon, Tatamara Mario Chin, Ashami, what the one definition you statue on the government. Yasi Hailas Lassi Mangiska Batale, Catalian brief occupation by Melisosi Matu, Catama de Mazaman, Cafet and Yankas Cassisia Runa Perna, and Professor Baruzo de Rasu, Bemas Atrachacho, Taxawa, a modernization concept sitai, Lam Sali, Bent and Ragged Melecachu, Catamo and Lamazaman, as Hailas Lassi Rasacho, Safmijos to number. Nazi by 1960s, Akababi, the French Chapotata, 1963, OEU come and come back to the feet. Ye Talayamos, it is a runs out ye OEU, Ahonia, EU Hans Ayalabet, Jamro, Yani Organization of African Unity in a Bermibalo, ECA and the Batman, Yenamese Dimi Hansa, Yamazagajabi Hansa, Yefinfini building, Mascala de Babaika Yadlo, Yabihirai Bank, Henry Shomit. Hence, all choose the Malacacho, Abichas I hope, Catamanum defined in the Arabu, 
አዲስ አበባም አዲስዋ የአፍሪካ ሞደርኒስት ካፒታል ነች የሚለውን ሐሳብ ለማመላከት በንጉሰ ነገስቱ ከፍተኛ ፍላጎት ነበር ምን አልባት ይሄ የዲሲዥን ሜከርስ ወይም ደግሞ የፖለቲሽያንስ አምቢሽን ሁሉ ግዜ አብ ደ ክሮስ ስታቱ የማይቀር የባለፈውን የሄዲግ መንግስትን سنመለከት ፐብሊክ ሃውሲንግ ፕሮጀክቶች ላይት ሪል ሲስተምስ መንገድ ኢንፍራስትራክቸር ለከፍተኛ ጥረት አለ የስቴት ዳይሬክሽን ወደነዚህ ለማት አጥጣጫዎች ይወስዳልና እነዚህ እነዚህ ክሮስ ሴክሽኖች መኖራቸው አይደለም በየሚመጣው ኤራ በየሚመጣው ወቅት ዲፋይን መደረጋቸውና ይሄ ግሎባል ካፒታልና ኢንትረስት ኢንፍሉዌንስም ኢንስፒሬሽንም መምጣቱ ይቀጥላል ሚቲጌት ለማድረግ ከፕላኒንግ ኮሚኒቲ ዋንጻር ምን አይነት አፕሮቾች መውሰድ ይኖርብናል ቢኮዝ መንግስትን አቅጣጫ ራሱ ብንመለከት ሚድል ኢንካም ካንትሪ ሞደርናይዝድ ኢኮኖሚ ረጅህ ሞደርናይዜሽን ኮንሴፕት የምንጎጎልት ውስጣችን ያለ በደም ዲፋይን ያደረግ ነው ሐሳብ ነውና ከማንነታችን ጋር ሁሉ ግዜ ሲጋጭ ከከተማው ባህሪ ጋር ሲገጭልና ያለንና እንደው እዛ ኢንተርሴክሽን ላይ የተወሰነ ሰዎች ማስቀመጥ ብትቺ ቢኮዝ ፕረሸሩ አለ ፍላጎቱ አለ እንዴት ሪኮንሳይል ሊደረግ ይችላል በጣም ጥሩ ጥያቄ ነው ብሩክ ይሄ ነገር ሜቢ ሰፋ አርገን ብናየው ሂስቶሪካሊ የአርባ ፕላኒንግ ፕሮፌሽናል ራስ ወመጣጡ ከሞደርናይዜሽን ፕሮሰስ ጋር ብንመለከት አለው የመጀመሪያዎቹ ኢንደስትሪያል ከተሞች በተገነቡበት ጊዜ when people started moving into cities የተለያዩ ሶሻል ፕሮብለሞች ታይዘው prevalent የሆኑ መጥቶ ማለት ነው የፖሉሽን የክላተር አንሄልዲ ኢንቫይሮንመንትስ መፈጠር ጀመሩ ከዛ ጋር በተያያዘ ነው አርባን ፕላኒንግ አስ ፕሮፌሽን ሪሊ ሶሊዲፋይ አርኮ የወጣውና ከዛም ጀምሮ በመንመለከትበት ጊዜ ዩኖ ፕላኒንግ ሃስ ቢን ኢን ሰርቪስ ኦፍ ዘ ሞደርናይዜሽን ፕሮጀክት ኢፍ ዊ ሉክ አት ዩኖ ኤብኛ ትሬኒንግ ራስ ወን በመንመለከት ሞደርን modern architecture modern planning the uh, corpusner has been you know the icon in our education and all that what was the mission there bullets and melek it has always been efficiency the city as an efficient uh, object that can facilitate uh, wealth accumulation so in that sense kajinuru ya ya professional chinandu aspect it's uh, working working with the modernization project so modernization mitigate my drug uh, almost my task of nagar now it's a global process the world is already the modern world the economic system is already a capitalist system that functions in a certain way you know agaroch the uneven development already position at you to work on within that economic system uh, so it's already a path we are on what that mean atlana even uh, during uh the even after that in, in in some sense all of our leaders have been modernist leaders so uh hey this is not unavoidable this is not avoidable in a sense uh, because we want to improve the the lives the lives of our people gini bemiderregbet gize the global economy has changed you know over the last 50 60 years uh it's become more and more ruthless it's become uh, more and more efficient uh, more and more extractive so uh when uh, we open up to global uh, capital within this modernization effort madatna global capital and sinasgaba indet no masgabat yallo min milo tiyake lay no tinish flexibility yallo uh meaning what kind of interventions need to go along with the entry of global capital what kind of effects does global capital have on our space in these nagaroch more carefully memelkat it is the responsibility of you know, the planning profession because at the end of the day it is kedimem uh, indallo promoting efficiency while also dealing with the social effects of modernization that is the, at the core of planning that is at the core of architecture no uh i guess lazy generation of architects and planners that is one of the key questions 
you know, the paper asset capped when we are getting a new global uh, capital investment into urban space, into, into architecture, how do we ensure, uh, you know, beyond the physical forms, how do we ensure social issues are addressed? And how, most importantly, the economic question of inequality can be addressed in urban space and urban planning. Uh, that, is, that is the homework for our generation in some sense. I hope you like email, Charlie. No, no. I know, no, definitely. I have to say that the contradiction and challenge is understand the market. And they are going to go below. But I'm sensitive to the approach of the plan of the Even decision makers, politicians involved in the plan of the plan of the plan of Addis Ababa Batale, Africa's indigenous capital to Balalich. Baswachale, Sararatuam, Amatatum, Katigit Aitu, Nazimili Kakora Kort, Tarik Jamrans in the Malakat, Edgatuam, Tarikwam, organic Yemi Balo, Akahidale, Batale Kadua, Tonet Bohala, Mato. Gusanagastum, Takatayo Chachum, yet or as much chum, as Safaferasu, ye, ye Safaruchin Sims, Kahundras, Na, Yasafarun Hunitarasu, but am the Miguel Sunitano, Nayatarik Abrunagle. In Tarik, Bekalalu, our Liluchin, then Nairobi, when Cape Town, Africa, Katamoch, Kanasu was then in the Swinet planning in the Katal Malet, but Amaschagari. As a Hilas Lassi, Zamena Mangustum Jamru, Yalo, Yazamena, we not Katamani Mazam Ret, Nazin Nagaruch Lamada Fetale, Mukarocha Druan. Nagargan, Katamachin and Sitamalekachat, Yeraswan Organic Akahid, Yeraswan Melk Nakers and Tassizabet, Kaplaning Kamisa Tatkers, Betale Yamangad Mihid. Lebanon ya balu mu ya sebenarnya nandali rasa cincin ke seni gacch nagi nualan ke bezu negaruj. Zilai demo ya policy maker uj interest ada vision ada betul ya ye bezu yerak. Endo bezu bezu ba planning community ba architect community mita ya kau policy maker uj mita ya kau tia ke ya di sabab aku thama vision mending ya mil tia ke bezu bezu mita ya kau. Ena desi milau neger. Yetalia, you, your political Maruch, the Matuku, Italia, Yitana, Milkatan, Miss Sutter. And the Nagar and Hakal, Chikatama, Addisababa, Raswa, a challenge organic, indigenous Kataman, Yeraswa Bahari. Bahari on the Kakan Aukan, Lezab Mimachimanga Dahunum, Kersalamasia, Stigilain, and then the Xiswaraswa Kadima, Yeraswan. Milk tak sih zat. Jadi, misalnya, ya mereka tu akan bawa dia lona safa fara nak hunita setem milk kecik riba kan tu. Ia tu lagi usaha faru cak. Aku nak hun draw kan beracu tari kan ni tak beram. Ia tu lagi ini zaman awi nanti nana kerja mial show efficiency nana mata ni jalan. Bukan zaman garu cini ya kayaran nongin. Kata macam ya nak beratkan dara ya touch. Man in the Twanis and Batarika will be to Chilin Melakat in Chilal and you miss Lula Mitayo, Ya Lek Tarikawi Babur Station, Zurio, Zamanawi Hins or Chica Bavalina, Yan Lodiba, Betalika Church or Godana Gallo, Zimdin and Ditita Yan, Munun Yizen, Kazabala Munis and Nazamin, Yamilo Tiyaki, I think Lila noted the contradiction in Maslenia. Indigenous capital. Versus creating a modern capital. In the sense that we talk about how, but like at the moment, the Kashya Chokhi is the only one. But I'm interested in that. Yeah, Mumbai and Nairobi. Yeah, but um, it's it's another very good point. Yeah, heritage the Yake. Ah, on maybe Safar and the Nile. You know, physical heritage. Um. Nazi uh, it could be the whole axis. Kamazagata Jamara Loxis Kadimindalko has a relationship with Jimmer, physical built space lay yellow heritage. Alla Kazabal Fe Dagmo, you know, Yan non war Zabim, it's inherited. 
it's it's indigenous in a way, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and it affected the regal milan massive. It's one way of thinking about maintaining the indigeneity of a city. I'm not not actually completely take a euro. Space at the Kakamachin completely take a euro. A space function which but the guy take a euro. Uh, that built space maintained with the Daragonchi building, it, sh it becomes a monument of the past. Uh, again, uh, for, for the person coming in from the outside on the tourist Valley, walking in this area, he would walk around that building and look at it as an object. But the rest of the experience of this space there's nothing Ethiopian or nothing inherited or nothing. Uh, the heritage of the, the area is completely changed. No? Yeah, uh, Sally, if we look at this, this street, mm. uh, fully functional Bona Betsaat, a tourist walking by the street will experience a truly local way of life. Mm. A local economy, uh, how people relate to each other, uh, how the majority lives. Uh, it's more grounded to our experience of urbanization. Yeah, really develop here go through our history, not just the remote history, but recent history as well. You know, we legacy of Tulutadamamro, So uh, this is our distinct urban way of life, in a way. Each street, it's just one picture, but you know what I mean. I don't know, majority of Aragon space, not just the major streets, but the smaller streets, uh, the smaller neighborhoods, the, even the slum tablomita rutakawa which the way of life within these areas, that, that is our urban way of life. So, yes, itafa. I'm not saying uh, poverty should not be addressed, <laughs> um, but you know, because in this space, which completely homogenized or universalized, uh, it doesn't really matter whether you maintain that building or not, uh, because uh, so. Uh, Lamsali slum area, the slum definition rasu, the unit at Lamsali, your physical structure, you know, your amenities provision cohone, as I am Mulevatali, Buzo architect, Takaumo, Adle, and Chimalish, in a community Vatalidam. Does the slum area when Mikoshasha Kababuchnacho, Ye Mindinosu, Yoangel, Mafelfeanachumi Bart, Menalbat, Adisababa Katamale Valacho Tarik, and does it? He was Lakatama, he was Misato. And don't Lakatama, then net, and not Lakatama, a character in Misato Botauch Nacho. Lazano, Latana Kerbino, Yamat, but I'm the Kitten. Arada Dachin, he polite a Melkatan, whom the Mu Yamarabawian and Mesafam de Ven, Nagaruchin Naskamet Kalin, till the Gitchet Lane Wingo. But he in your planning process, Lydia Minadirk, Balamuyoch, Milkatown and Dagana, Makalasin or Benat. Whether uh, Yeah, because you gag and tie is open, but okay. Modernization, uh, Andrew Magalaja, it's universalizing. Yeah, but modern architecture, yeah. of course, it's, yeah. it's homogenizing, it's uh, letting go of tradition and embracing uh, efficiency. Uh, he, he has up, of course, it's coming from the European Eurocentric ideal of modernity. And now, I don't know how to say that Kenya, Kalan heritage, Kaman, and Natachinga, traditional Chinga, the Maka Arabs and Moker, Minor Bachon, Mingana Bachon, developing Nargachon area. Masala Tawut Iake, modernization or modern, modern architecture, modern planning, contextualize Arganoid way. Uh, mm. How are we embracing our own uh, traditional ways of urbanizing? How is this slightly asked about and centers? You know, our cities are not yet seen as cities. This is one of the, the major problems. Slum areas, 
ተብለው የሚባሉት ቦታዎች ማለት ነው they epitomize urban life in ethiopia አይደለም the most the majority is represented there ያኖኖሩ ነው ዘይቤ እዛ ነው ያለው urban life so ያንን interpreti madrabu you know kaza lay value wasdo Uh, of course lives have to be improved can improve sidderagu keza yetenessan no way our architectural analysis theorizing thinking our urban planning thinking kenya kemetanibet menged gar tayel kenya urban trajectory yotano ways is it really just modeling something or someone else you know this is also also our homework as urban planners and architects obviously we live in the middle of babalo neger nilachin አይ ዶ አሁን ያስቀመጥሽ ይሄ ለጋሃር ምስል በጣም ኢንትረስቲንግ ነውና እንደውም አንድ አንድ ሐሳብስቲ ሊጨምር ያው ከኛ ጋር የሚሰሩ ባለሀብቶች አሉና የለጋሃር ፕሮጀክት በሚዘጋጅበት ወቅት እንዳጋጣሚ የዲዛይን ውድድር ነበር እዛ ውድድር ላይ መሰፈድል ገጥሞት ነበር እኛ መስራ ቤትና ለመወዳደሪያ ከሰጡን ምስሎች መሃል አሁን አንቺ ጋር ያለው ምስል ነው ያን ምስል ይዘን ካንዳንድ ባለሀብቶች ጋር ስንወያ በጣም ኢንትረስቲንግ ነው እነዚህ አሁን ከተማው ውስጥ በጣም ኢንፍሉዌንሻል ባለሀብቶች ናቸው ትልልቅ ፕሮጀክት አላቸው ብዙ ሰው ቀጥረው የመንግስት ሰዎችንም እንደውም በልማት ምን ሸለሙ የተከበሩ ሐሳብ የሚሰጡ ሰዎች ናቸው እና ምን አሉ ልክ ነው እንጂ እንደዚህኛም ከተማ እንደ አውሮፓኖቹ እንደ ዱባይ ይመጥ እንጂ እንደዚህ አይነት መንሸራሻሪያ ኮሪደር ማኪያቶ መንጠጣበት እንደ ውስጥ ከተማችን ዘመና እንኳን እንመልከታት ዘመናዊ አገልግሎት ፍለጋ ምን ወደ ዱባይና ወደ አውሮፓ እንዳለ አገራችን እኮ ይሄ ነገር መጣ ማለት ትልቅ ለውጥ ነውና መንግስት ሊበረታታ ይገባል የሚል አስተባባሉና ሙግት ያዘ ዴ እኛኮ ኢትዮጵያዊ ለዛ ያለው ኢትዮጵያዊ ከለር እንትን ብዙ ነገሮች እኮ አሉ ይሄንን ሙሉ ለሙሉ ማጥፍ እንዴ አው ኢትዮጵያዊነቱ ደማ ኖርንበት ተመለከተ ነው ለምን እንደሆነ የውጪውን መመኘት ምኑ ላይ ነው ነውሩ ብለው ይገርምሻል ብዙ ምክ ታረግነና ሁለተኛ ጣሹ ምስል የሪቨርሳይድ ፕሮጀክቱ ላይ እንዴ ልጆቻችንን ይዘን ምን እንሸራሽርበት መናፈሻ ስፍራ በሌለበት እናንተ አርኪቴክቶች አንድ አንድ እኮ መታስነሱትን ማአበር በጥንቀቅ ያጣቁትም ብለው የመንግስት ሰው ቢሆን አይ ውድ አንደርስታንድ ለማን ለማዘመን ካለ ተነሳሽነት ነው እነሱ ነው ደብተን እነዚህ ሰዎች ካፕ ገንዘብ ይዘው ያገር ባለሀብት ሆኖ ብዙ ትላልቅ ህንፃዎች የሚሰሩ ናቸው አንዳንዶቹ ከኛ ጋር ፕሮጀክት አላቸው ሌሎቹ ከተለያዩ አርኪቴክቶች ጋር ስራ አይሉ ዲሲዥን ሜከርስ ናቸው እነዚህ ሰዎች እኔና እንጂ አሁን ያወራ ነውና አዲስ አበባ እንደ ኢንዲጂነስ ካፒታል የምንላተን ምስል አያዩትም ይሄ ራሱ ላይ አንድ ትልቅ ቻሌንጅ ነው because መንግስት አለ ነዋሪ ህዝብ ተጠቃሚ አለ በሶስተኛው ወገን ደግሞ ባለሀብት አለ ባለሀብቱ እይታ አም እንዶ የተለየ ነው በተለይ ከኛ ባለሙያዎች ሰላምና ይሄስ ቻሌንጅ እንዴት እንዶ ካየሻቸው ኪዝ ስተዲስ አንጻር ስታይ አው ማለት ግልጽ ነው ይሄንን ሁላችን ምናቀው ምንኖርበት ነገር ነው የብያብዛኛው ባለሀብት አመለካከት ከኛ መልክ ብዙ ጊዜ አይጣጣምና ደሞ ምትክክል ነው ትክክል ለጂትመት የሆነ ፖይንት አላቸው Uh, well to create the dargo zihu matfat kalchalen zihu reinvest madreg kalchalen you know wede uch hedo uch kone miznanut it's still yagerhabt yota no kagerna tikikil no malet zihim limatu medereg allebet riverside project it's a good project clean medereg allebet gine him bemnadergbet gize you know gone le gone ingidi equity utiyake sinemelekato malet no ማን ነው ይነን ስፔስ የሚጠቀመው what percentage what percentage of our population ባለሀብት ነው ሲጨመር main priority riverside መዝናናት የሆነ population ምንድነው it's a what what segment of that population is there እና ከዛ ደግሞ on the other side ደግሞ what segment of the population አሁን እዚህ አሁን ያለበትን ደረጃ ስናየው እንዲህ ሪቨሩ ላይ በጣም ሴፍ ባልሆነ ሲቹዌሽን ነው የኖሩ ያሉት ሰዎች አይደለም 
በጣም ዴንጀረስ የሆነ ቦታ ላይ ተቀመጡት ለራሳቸው የሚያሰጋ ነው ግን ለምን እንደው ዛውታ ይተቀመጡት because they don't have alternatives probably ኑሯቸውን ከባካቢ ጋር የተሳሰረ ስለሆነ ነው so እነዚህን ችግሮች ignore አድርገን completely erase አድርገን ሌላ ነገር build ማድረጉ የራሱ ኔጌቲቭ ሪፕሪከሽኖች አሉ። ታሁን ባጭር ጊዜ ሊታይ ማይታይ ሊሆን ይችላል ግን በረጅሙ ጊዜ سنመለከተው ሎንግ ተርም ፕላን سنመለከተው ይዞት የሚመጣው መዘዝ አለ ክሪሚናሊቲ ኢንክሪዝ ያደርጋል because by nature high investment ያለባቸው ቦታዎች they are they tend to be exclusionary either directly space ውስጥ ተቀማጭ ይችላል ወይም ደግሞ economic life source አቸው ከዛ space ጋር ሊገናኝ ይችላል ማሁን ይሄን መንገድ ብታዩ street vendor yellow lemon because your space and quality affect yaregwal indel bemeznanatachin beye dedikaw yaw mengedun hulu miyaschegir sos nyo tikikilu lemeznanat lemach ichilal at the same time demo neza sowch keza bota remove tederegu malet betam tilik segment of the population metedader yawna ta malet na job betam bizu job create yaderegno we it's a major priority in our economic agenda munum bizu botal yemnayaw neger no gin nezan joboch create yaregen on the side degmo a lot of jobs yatan kahonen or you know remove taderko maybe lela remote area sihonu nda dis ra fellagi mesoch temelso limato ichilalu so you know the economics of these spaces mejemera meredat alleben indet no mataqam minchilaw milaw neger carefully he demo be designum lisarra michil neger no if equity considerations are you know forefront in our minds you know there are you portions of this riverside lemisale vendoroch allu bacho yelelu puto lino ichilalu on the same project so you can uh, differentiate it and let tourists go to it might be interesting you want a segment of the walk vendoroch allu bet local atmosphere experience miyaragu bet segment lino ichilalu so nezi nagaroch necessarily either or i don't know ሁለቱም ሌጂትመት ኮንሰርን ያላቸው ኢሹዎች ስለሆኑ እንዴት ነው ማጣጣም የሚችሉት የሚቻሉት ማለት how do we in the extreme ዎች ብቻ ይዘን መቀመጥ ሳይሆን either you know dangerous living conditions or completely exclusionary urban space ሳይሆን እንዴት ነው ማጣጣም የሚቻለው and how can spatial planning urban design architectural design play a role in this hey this is a major homework for us professionals that's why i think this discussion is important on this platform i am but i'm trying because and and planning profession ust yallo sewoch ye decision making bota mela yallo ye planning commission ust yemisaru allu mayor's office ust yemisaru architectoch allu endom demo on ye mayor's office rasu ye center for architecture and urbanism lo bekar be kafatut ye mengist mega projectoch mitayubet msilalle inde nezi yenet platformoch tekarar ben indin nenegager tru untunoch isetun lemen mengistim tilqun halafinet selawsede economy yonem regulate mi yadergaw aktacham mi yasizo mengist selohone ye equitable weyim demo tamataqany yihone ye zegochin interest yamakkele interest ማስከበር ይኖርበትና እኛ ደግሞ እንደ ፕላነር አንድ አንድ ጊዜ አሁን እቺ በግራ በኩል ያለችው ሬንደር አርክቴክት ወዳጆቻችን ነው ያዘጋጁትና እቺ ቲፒካል ሪቨር ፓርክ ትራል ፓርክ መሮጫ ትራክ እንደዚህ አይነት ስሜት አላት ግን ከዛ በዘለለ እቺ ኢንቲግሬሽኒስት የሆነ አዲስ አበባን ከለር በሚያሳይ መንገድ ለምን አዲስ አበባን የሚያሳይ ሁሉ ማርክቴክት ይሄ ስጋት አለው አንቺ ማለሽ ኤክስክሉሲቭስት ከተማ gated community yebezabat katama kohonech ehe yallatan sense of security taqaw dehnnetum yitafal lemin katamawa letewsenu ye katamawa nuwari bicha mithon kohona na ubetin bicha makelen min sara kohona dehnnetna taqaminnet balebetinnetin min nasatal le hulum saw mohon mechalallebet and hasab eziu inde worwor lemadreg addis abebi betam tilik chana mi bezabat katama nech ዲፕሎማቲክ ከተማ አለን ውድ ከተማ እንፍጠራለን ግሎባል ካፒታል በሩ እየመጣ ነው ምን አልባት ፖሊሲ ሴንትሪ ሆነ የከተማ አሰፋፈር ማሰብ አዲስ አበባ ዙሪያ ያሉትን ከተሞች ማዘመን እኔ አሁን በግሌ ሆነት ለመናገር አዲስ አበባ ከተማ ከመኖር 
የተሻለ ከተማ ንጹህ አየር ያለበት እንዳማራጭ እጅ ቢኖር መርጣለሁ ለምን በጣም ቀድም ጠይቀሽኛል ከትራፊክ ጃም አንጻር ከንቅስቃሴ አንጻር ከአየር ንጽህና ድምጹ ራሱ በክለቱ በጣም ሰላምሽ የሚያሳጣ ከተማ ነውና እንደ አዋሳ በቀሊ ባህር ዳር አማራጭ ከተሞች አሉ ቅርብ እንደ ቢሾፍቱ ደብረ ዘይትም አሉ ናዝሬት አዳማም ሊቆጣር ይችላልና ሌሎቹ ከተማዎች ላይ ካፒታል ኢንቨስት አድርገን ፖሊሲ ኢንትሪክ የሆነ ነገሮችን ሰጥር ብለው ለህብረተሰቡ መቋም ማራጭ መስጠት አለበት አዲስ አበባ የሁሉንም ኢንትረስት ታማክላለች ማለትም ከባድ ነው ወይንም ደግሞ ኡነት ካፒታልንም እንጂ እንደነ ሻንዲ ጋር አዲስ ከተማ ባዲስ ቪዥን ገምብቶ ከዛ በኋላ ይሄ ፖለቲካል ካፒታል ነው ኢኮኖሚክ ካፒታሉ ደግሞ ወደዚህ ወስደናል የማንዳንዴ ቦልድር ምጃምኩ ያስፈልግ ይሆናል ጥሩ በጣም አገን ብርክ ጥሩ አገን ያስቀምጥ ከይ ቅድሞንም ሰማሪ ስታስቀምጥ አይ ቲንክ ከኔ በተሻለ ሁኔታ ላይ ያስቀምጥ ሪሊ ቢዩቲፉሊ ዳን ለዚህኛው ፖይንት ግን እኔ ሬዝ ማረጋው ያው ሶሉሽኑ ትክክል ነው ፕራይመት ሲቲ መኖሩ ኔጌቲቭ ኢፌክቶች አሉት እንዳልከው ችግሮቹ ሁሉ አብረው ነው ኮንሰንትሬትድ የሚሆኑት when you concentrate all the um, all of the growth in one place ነገር ግን ከ ከአዲስ አበባ ስለወጣ we can live more we will get more livable cities more productive cities more functional cities ሚለው ነገር i think there there's a problem there because አሁን ምናየው ሰከንደሪ ከተሞች ላይ ምናየው ልማት ላይ ተመሳሳይ ችግሮች አሉ። global capital ላይ ሳባሌ ብቻ አይደለም የመጣ ያለው። or global capital friendly on investment ታውን ለምሳሌ industrial park ዎቹ which is what my my research is on is being developed in secondary cities. so እነዚህ developmentዎች አብራው አብራው ከsocial ጥቅጥቅ ጋር አይደለም ዴቨሎፕ የተደረጉት ሚኒንግ ሃውሲንግ ሄልዝ ኬር ከዛ ጋር ተቋዳኛ ብሮም ይመጡ ዲማንዶች አልተ አልተ ዴቨሎፕ አልተደረጉ የከተሞች አቅም ውስን ነው ከአዲስ አበባ አቅም አላት ሌሎች ከተሞች በጣም ውስን ነው አቅማቸው ቱ አድረስ ሰም ኦፍ ዚስ ኢሹስ ሶ በጣም ግልጽ በሆነ ሁኔታ ዩ አር ሲኢንግ ፋንክሽናሊቲ ፕሮዳክቲቪቲ ኢፊሽንሲ ዲክላይን ኢን ሴኮንደሪ ሲቲስ እና የጊዜ ጉዳይ ነው አዲስ አበባ ላይ you know return ካገኘ ብዙ ኢንቨስትመንት ከወጣ በኋላ the global investment will go anywhere they will go to secondary cities they will go to tertiary cities wherever there is possibilities for high returns it will go እና secondary cityዎች ይሁን primary cityዎች ይሁን ማንኛው ከተማ ላይ በአጠቃላይ urban system ን plan ስናደርግ የ efficiency የ productivity የ livability ያቂዎች መካተት አለባቸው ካንዱ ወጣ ከመታመልተው ጥያቄ አይደለም ሁሉም ጋር ከተማ ስካልን ድረስ efficiency ያስፈልጋል viable economic ፖሎች ያስፈልጉታል so planningው በሁሉም ከተማ ደረጃ መሆን አለበት ያልከው ነገር ምን ለማድረግ አለ በለዚያ ነገ አሳም ስቴድ ዘ ሴም ካታሊ ቀጥ ብሎ ይችላል ያ ያ እንተነ የሊቨቢሊቲ ኢንዴክስ አሁን ሰጠና ፕሮዳክቲቪቲ ፋንክሽናሊቲ እንዳለ ሆኖ ኤስቴቲክስ አንዱ ጋቨርኒንግ ቢሆን ሊቨቢሊቲ በሚለው ረገድ سنመለከት አሁን ከተማችን ላይ ለምሳሌ ለምሳሌ ላንሳ የፊውቸር ፋይናንሻል ዲስክ የሚባለው የብሔራዊ አካባቢ ከብሔራዊ ባንክ አንስቶ ወደ ወብሸበሪ መስመር ስትጓጂ ሜጀር ፋይናንሻል ዲስትሪክት ውዛ እንደሚሆን ይያመላከተ ነው አሳፉ ቀንሳዎች የንብ ባንክ የህብረት ባንክ የዘመን ባንክ አሁን በቅርቡ የሮሚያ ባንክ ይጀምራል አዋሽ ባንክ አለ 16 18 ፎቅ ሽን ህንጻ እንደዚህ 20 ፎቅ ዛካባቢ ስራ ጀምሯል የኦሮሚያ ህብረት ስራ ባንክም በቅርቡ እንደሚጀምር ሰምተናል ኦሮሚያ ኢንሹራንስም ለብቻ የሚያሰራው እነዚህ ሁሉ 20 እና ከዛ በላይ ያሉ ህንጻዎች የሚጠይቁት መሰረተ ልማት ራሱ ከባድ ነው ከዛ በተጨማሪ ዛካባቢ እግረኛ መንሸራሸር ሲ መኪና መንቀሳቀስ ሲጀምር የመንገዱ ስፋት እና አገልግሎት አሰጣጥ ራሱ 
በጣም ትልቅ ጫና ውስጥ ይገባልና ይሄ የፕላኒንግ እና የመሬት አሰጣጥ ችግሮች ራሱ ከተማችን ላይ በደንብ ነው የሚታየው እና ልባት ፖሊሲ አውጣጥኞችና ፕላነሮች አርክቴክቶች ተከራርበን ባለመስራት የመንጭ ነው እዚ ላይስ እንደው ከነበሩት ኬዝ ስቱዲዮዎች በተለይ ያነሳሻቸው ከተሞች በጣም ኢንትረስቲንግ ናቸውና ያው ለበኋላ መጨረሻ ላይ ከመታችን በፊት አባላቶቻችን እነዚህ መጻፍቶች በደንብ ወስደው እንዲያነቡ ማረጋ አለብን ለምን የሙምባይ ያው እንደ ታዳጊ ከተማ ሆነ ኢኮኖሚካሊ በጣም ቢያሉ እንደ ታዳጊ ከተማ ለናይ እንችላለን ናይሮቢም እዚ ጎረቤት ነው ስለዚህ ከዚህ አንጻር ማለት ምን አይነት ማመቻ መቻ ማዘጋጀት ይቻላል አው ይሄ ያጌ አይ ቲንክ ካኔ ፔ ግሬድ ውጭ ነው በጣም አይ መልከታ ዳይሬክት እንደ ፕላነር ነው ምን ነው ሁሉ ግዜ ኮምፕሌንት ስለሚኖር ነው ፖሊሲ ሜከሮች እኛን ሳይማክሩ ነው ፕላን የሰሩ ቡ ስትራክቸር ፕላኑን ያላማከለ ስራ ተሰራ ፖሊሲ ሜከሮቹ ደግሞ እናንተ ፕላነሮች አማራጭ አትሰጡንም እኛ ምን መለከተው ቪዥን ከከተማው ነበር ከተማው ለናሳድግ በመንሽ በመናስብበት ቪዥን እየተጓዛችሁ አይደለም ይላልና ምን አይነት ሜትሪክስ ነው ሊረዳን የሚችለው ከሚል አንጻር ነው ጥያቄው አይ ነው ማለት ለብን እየተቀራረብን አይደለም ትክክል ነው ትክክል ነው እንዳይ አይ አግሪ አይ ዎስ ጀስት ኪዲንግ አይ ጌስ አይ ካን ጊቭ ዩ ማይ ኦፒኒየን ማለት የሊቨቢሊቲ ጥያቄ አዲስ አበባ ላይ ብቻ አይደለም ማንኛው ሜጀር ሜትሮፖሊታን ኦር ካፒታል ሲቲ ላይ ቻሌንጅ ነው because uh, you know planning can only go so far ከፕላን ከፕላኒንግ you know እይታውጭ ብዙ ነገሮች ትክክለኛ ማታረጋቸው ነገሮችን ሀፕን ያረጋሉ ከተማው ውስጥ ግን you know within the limits of what is planable እንቃቄ ያስፈልጋል ማለትም ለምሳሌ when we think about compact land use ከተማችን ላይ አዳዲስ ሃውሲንግ ዴቨሎፕመንቶች በጣም ብዙ ይመጣሉ የት ነው ሊገነቡ የታሰቡት ብለን ስንጠይቅ this needs to be a major issue to 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 be discussed you know ወጣ ብለን በመናስቀምጥበት ጊዜ ራሱን ይቻለ ዴላ መሰዝ ይዞ ይመጣል ሁላችንም እንደምናቀው ኢኮኔክቲቪቲ ችግር ይመጣል ያዲስ ኢንፍራስትራክቸር ችግር ይመጣል ለኗሮች ሪሊ ሊቨብል አይሆንም ከተማው ዛሄደው ለሚሰጡ ሰዎች ማለት ነውና coming towards more compact land use if it is planned ማለት ነው አሁን ቀደም ያልከው ትራፊክ ማኔጅመንቱ ፓርኪንግ ፐብሊክ ትራንስፖርቴሽን ሲስተሙ በደም planned ከሆነ a very compact city can be livable አሁን ለምሳሌ if we look at the real world cities the actual world cities are new york the tip uh, you know manhattan is extremely compact the high rises gidinya betam tikit high rises now ketemachin le yayen yalla yalla no you know the case lay the whole almost the whole area is high rise and yet in this a compact uh, really high rise development host you see efficiency because it's very carefully planned uh you have a very strong public transportation system you have amenities provided along with whatever land use is designated so i raraqum mitfelgachaw negeroch hulu bekarabet al tagenyacho tichilalle there are many planning interventions you could put in place you know certain regions car only lehon chilalu or many many possible solutions are there when you are thinking of compact city planning you can mostly already all the negatives so now and as in the yakuch but a good gize metayekachin no inja hon important you know i think solution is already are now when uh, i'm sure nazi negatives they are reflected in the planning plan but what if it is discussion or sin nasu ahun mitin yeregeka no planu ya 500 plans bemiregebet gize nezin tiyakeoch yemansat yemawayet responsibility as professional silalle just highlight la madreg no ji definitely these are solvable issues ay betam tro hasab no menalbat enya
ያጋገርንባቸው እነዚህ ሐሳቦች የዚህ አርክቴክቸር ወራዊ ሐሳብ ላይ ለመወያየት ኔም እንት ነው አባላቶች ላይም ጥያቄ ለመጫር ነገሩንም በዝር ለመመልከት እንዲረዳ ነው አይ ቲንክ ሰፊ የሆነ ፕላትፎርም ይፈልጋል አንቺ የሚያነሳሳቸው ሐሳቦች በጣም ጥሩ አርገሽ ፍሬም ብታደርጉ ዘርዘር ተደርጉ ልንወያይበት እንችላለን ለምሳሌ አሁን የቤትና የከተማ ማዕከል ማህደር አንድ ሴንተር ነው አንድ ፖሲብል ቦታ ነው ሌላ ደግሞ አሁን የበከንት በከተማው ስር በከንቲባው ስር ያለው የዚህ የአርክቴክቸር እና አርባኒዝም ሴንተር ላይ አንድ ቶፒክ እንደዚህ ሲሪስ ኦፍ ቶፒክስ ተደርገው ውይይት መደረግ አለበት ለምን ፖሊሲ ሜከርስ እና ዲዛይነርስ መከራረብ አለብን የከተማችንን ህዝብ ለማሟላት ሁለታችንም እንሮጠው ፍላጎት ለማሟላት ነው የካፒታልና የተለያዩ ጫናዎች ሊኖሩብን ይችላሉ ተከራርበር ግን ካልሰራን መፍትሄው መጨረሻ ላይ አመርቂ ላይሆን ይችላል የከተማውን ዜጋ ማገልገል ያስፈልጋል ከዛ በተጨማሪ ደግሞ ከውጪ የሚመጣውን ዓለም አቀፍ እይታ ኤስቴቲክስ ሎራን ስለሆነ ያንንም በተወሰነ ደረጃ ማስተናገድ ስለሚያስፈልግ ማለት ነው ታብሩክ አይ ቲንክ የሰመራይዝ ያረክ ስለሆነ ለተጋ መሰለኝ ግን ከመዝጋታችን በፊት አይ ዋንት አሳብ አሳብ ይቻላል ፕሊስ አሳብ ይቻላል አንተ ሪፍሌክቲቭ ታረክበት ደስ የሚለኝ የዚህ የኮንስትራክሽን ኢንደስትሪያችን ትራንስፎርሜሽን ምን መሰል አለበት አሁን የምናስባቸው ኖ የሃውዚንግ ላይ ብቻ ያለው ጫናና እቅድ ስንመለከት construction industrialization ምንድነው መምሰል ያለበት አሁን መስመሪያ ያዘል ነገር ሊሆን ይችላል ወደፊት ሞር መጠናከር ያለበት ወር አሁን መስመሪያ ያዘ ነገር ካሁን በጥንቃቄ መታቀድ ያለበት ምንላችሁ ነገሮች ካሉ because i think you're more involved in the construction sector እዚህ ላይ ትንሽ የሆኑ ፖይንቶች ብቻ ነሳብ ይሄ ሪቨርስ አረኩት የሆስቱን አይ አንዱም የዚህ ዲስካሽን ደስ የሚለው ያው ኮንቨርሴሽን ስለሆነ አው ኮንስትራክሽን ኢንደስትሪ ለክነሽ ሰላም ሁኔታ ለመናገር ብዙ ጥሩ ነገሮች ቢሰሩ አሁንም አርክቴክቱም የኮንስትራክሽን ባለሙያው ቆም ብሎ የሚመለከተው በፈረንጆቹ የ1950ዎቹና የ1960ዎቹን ህንፃ ነው በ አጽያ ሄለ ስላሴ ዘመን የከተማ ማዘመን ካለ ነው ጋር የተሰሩት አሁንም ቀና ብለን ሁሉ መንደቅሳቸው ህንፃዎች እነዛናቸው ለምን እንደው ቢባል ከዲዛይንም ከኮንስትራክሽንም አንጻር ከፍተኛ ጥራት ከፍተኛ ትጋት የነበረበት ስለሆነ ይሄ ትጋት ደግሞ በስራራጮቹ ብቻ ሳይሆን በዲዛይነሮቹ በህንፃ ባለቤቶቹ መንግስትም ይሁን የግል ባለሀብት የተሻለ ራዕይ የተሻለ ፍላጎት ሰንቀው ስለተንቀሳቀሱ ይድምሩ ውጤት ነው የባጽያ ኃይለ ስላሴ ዘመን የተሰሩ ህንፃዎችን ልዩ የሚያረጋቸው አሁን የፖስታ ቤት ህንፃን ስትመለከቺ ደጋግመሽ በቲጂ ደጋግመሽ በቲጂ ህንፃው የተሰራበት ዲዛይን ሐሳቡ ለህዝብ እንቅስቃሴ የግንባታው ሁኔታ ጥራቱ ከአሉሚኒየም በርና መስኮቶቹ ጀምሮ እስከ ወለል ንጣፍ ተጠቀሙበትና ግንባታ ያከናወኑበት መንገድ ሚያሳይሽ የተሻለ ትጋትና የተሻለ አትኩሮት ሰጥተን ስለምንሰራ አገራችን ላይ የኮንስትራክሽን ኢንደስትሪው በማሳሳቢ ደረጃ ላይ ነው የደረሰው ሀቅ ሀቁ መነጋገር ሁሉ ጥሩ ስለሆነ ማለት ነው። አሁን እንደውም ብዙ እኮ የመንግስት ሜጋ ፕሮጀክቶች በውጪ ተቆሽ ነው እየተሰሩ ያሉት። የሀገር አቀፍ ተቋራጮችም ቢሆኑ እንደ ቫርኔሮ አይነት ጣሊያን ስሪት ያላቸው ግንባታ ድርጅቶች ካልሆኑ በስተቀር የሀገር ኮንትራክተሮች የትኛውም ጋር ሲሳተፉ አንመለከተም አንዳንዱ ያው የጨረታው ስርዓት ለሀገር አቀፍ ኮንትራክተሮች ዝግ ነው ይላሉ ኮንትራክተሮች እኔ ግን አልስማም ዝግ አይደለም ግን አገራችን ውስጥ ያሉ ስራ ተቋራጮች በበቂ ሁኔታ አቅማቸውን ገንብተው ራሳቸውን በዚህ አሁን በጣም ኮንስትራክሽን ዘመናዊ ከተሞቻችን የሚያስቡአቸው ህንፃዎች በጣም ውስብስብና ብዙ የኮንስትራክሽን ጥበብና ችሎታ የሚጠይቁ ሆነው ሳለ የከተማችን ኮንስትራክሽን ላይ ያሉ ተቋራጮች በዛ ደረጃ ራሳቸውን ይያበቁ አይደለም ስለዚህ የውድድር መስመሩ በጣም እየጠበበ ነው ብዙ ፕሮጀክቶች በውጪ ሀገር ኮንትራክት እየተሰሩ ነውና እናልባት መፍትሄው ብዙ ነው ያው እኔ ኮንትራክተሮቹን ትንሽ ጫን የሚለው ብዙ ጊዜ سنገናኝ የሰራይን ባህሪያው ከጭቅጭቅ ስለሚጀምር ይሄንን በግልም ሁሉንም ስለሞቀሳቸው 
አሁን የሚመነገረው ከዛ የተለየ አይደለም አቅማችንን መገንባት አለብን ለምሳሌ የቫርኔሮና ኢንኮ ጣሊያን ኮንትራክተሮች የሶስተኛ ትውልድ ደረጃ ቆደርሰዋል አሁንም ጥራት ያለው ስራ እየሰሩ በተወዳዳሪ ሆነው ተማንም የቻይና ኮንትር ባላነሰ እንደውም በተሻለ በጥራት እየገነቡ የሚገኙ ስራ ተቋራጮች ናቸውና ይሄ የሚያሳየሽ ምንድነው የሀገራችን ኮንትራክተሮች ብዙ መስራት አለባቸው እስቲ ዘመን ተገሪ የኮንስትራክሽን ካምፓኒ እንጥራ ብንል አሁንም ጣሊያኖቹ ነው መንጠራው እንጂ የኢትዮጵያ ድርጅት በጣም ጥቂት ነው አንዳንዶቹም ወደ ሌሎች ቢዝነሶች ገብተዋል ስለዚህ በመጀመሪያ አው አንቺ እና እንትን ማለት አለባቸው ራሳቸው ላይ መስራት አለባቸው ማዘመን አለባቸው አቸው መገንባት አለባቸው እዚ ላይ በበቂ ሁኔታ እየተሰራ አይደለም የሰራተኛ ጥረት አለ ኮንስትራክሽን እንደውም ወደ ማሽን ኢንተንሲቭ እየሄደ ነው ነገር ግን የሌበር ኢንተንሲቭ ነው መሆንም አለበት ብዙ የሰራ አይደል መፍጠር አለበት ግን በጣም ጥሩ የእጅ ጥበበኞችን ማማመረት አለበት ለምሳሌ የስኪል አፍቲ ማረጋ ትምርት ቤቶች የሉ በግል የተሞከሩ ነበሩ ግን አሁን ደብዛቸው ጠፍቷል በመንግስት በኩል ራሱ ሃውዚንግ ፕሮጀክት ሲጀመር ስኪል አፕግሬዲንግ ተብሎ የተጀመሩ ፕሮጀክቶች አሁን በምን ያህል ሁኔታ ቀጥለዋል የሚለውን ለማይት ተሞክሮ ይነበር ግን በጣም ትንሽ ነው እየተሰራ ያለው ስለዚህ ስኪል አፕግሬዲንግ ላይ ኮንትራክተሮች የሚያራሳቸውን ስኪል አፕግሬድ ማድረግ ኢንተርናሊ ኳሊቲ ቫልዩዌሽን ያደርጉ ሰራተኞቻቸው ላይ መስራት አለባቸው መንግስትም ደግሞ እነዛን ሴክተሮች መክፈት ይኖርበት ተለይ ኳሊቲ አፕግሬዲንግ ኳሊቲ ሰራተኛ ነው ወያዙ የሚል ኮንቲኒየስ ኢቫሉዌሽን ሌላ ቢልዲንግ ኮዳችን ላይ የተጻፉ ጠንካራ ሰነዶች አሉ። እነዛ መስራት አለበት ለምሳሌ ስካፎልዲንግ ከስንት ከተወሰነ ህንጻ ቁመት በላይ ከበንጨት ሳይሆን በብረት መጠቀም አለበት የሰራተኛ ደህን የመሳሰሉትን ጠንካራ አርጎ መንግስት የጥራት ኢንስፔክሽንን ጠንካራ አርጎ ኮንሰልታንት ሱፐርቫይዝ የማይረጋቸው ፕሮጀክቶች ኮንሰልታንቶችንም ተጠያቂ ቢያደርግ ተጠያቂነት ይፈልጋል ኢንደስትሪው በደንብ ኢንፎርስ አልተደረገም ይሄም ሌላኛው ኤሪያ ሊሆን ይችላል ከዛ በተጨማሪ ግን ትልቁ አሁን በኮንትራክተሮቹ ወገን ሆኝ የምመጡ የኢንሹራንስ እና የባንክ ሴክተር ለኮንትራክተሮች ኢኩል ሪስክ ኮስዶ የሚሰራ ኢንደስትሪ አይደለም ይሄ ምናልባት ባይዘ ዌይ ቶፒኩ ሰፊ ግን የትኛው ማለት በተመለከች ኮንስትራክሽን ኢንደስትሪ ሪስክ አለው ሪስኩን ዲስትሪቢዩት አድርጎ ማኔጅ የማድረግ ጥበብ ይጠይቃል እኛ ሀገር ኮንትራክተሮች በቂ ያርፎ ነው ካሽ ፍሎ ከሌላ ከሌላ ሴክተር ለምሳሌ አንዳንዶቹ አሁን ኮንስትራክሽን ይጀምሩና ወደ ቡና ንግድ ገብተው ኢነፍ ካፒታል ሲኖራቸው ኮንስትራክሽኑን አንዳንዴ ሰብሲዳይዝ ይያደርጉ የሚያሰሩበት በተለይ በኮቪድ ሰብሲዳይዝ ይያደርጉ የሚያሰሩበት ሁኔታ አለ የካሽ አቅም ስላላቸው ባንክና ኢንሹራንስ ኢንደስትሪው የትጋናቸው ስቲ ሪስክ ቴከርስ አይደሉ ኮንስትራክሽን ኢንደስትሪውን እየደገፉ አይደሉ ባንክ ኮ ሪስክ ወስዶ ከዛ ሪስክ የሚያተርፍ ኢንደስትሪ ነው ኮንስትራክሽን ሴክተሩ ላይ ግን ብዙ አልሰራ የኮንትራክተሮች አጋር ሆኖ ይያደለም ምናልባት ይሄን በሌላ ቶፒክ ማየት ይኖርብናልና እነዚህ እነዚህ ነገሮች ይመለከታል ያው በዝርዝር ብዙ ነገር አለ ግን ጀነራሊ እነዚህ ሐሳቦች ይታዩኛል በተለያዩ ኢንደስትሪው ላይ በጣም ደስ ይላል ቴንክ ዩ ብሩካን ስትናገር ሳሲ በነበረው ሜቢ ይሄ ፕረዘንቴሽን በጣም ብሮድ ነው ብዙ ነገሮች ለመንካት ነው የሞከኩት ግን እንዳልከው ሜቢ ሞር ስፔሲፊክ ፕረዘንቴሽኖች ኢች ቲም ብቻውን ብዙ ነገር ልንነጋገርበት እንችላለን እንደሞ አለብን በእያስባለሁ ነው ሶ አይ ሆፕ በዚሁ እንደሚቀጥልና ሌሎችም ሴሽኖች ለዚህ ንሾች እንደሚመረከቱ ተስፋረቃ ነው ባክ አው እኔ ዴፊኔትሊ ቃል መገብ ባው ሰላም በጣም ጥሩ ፕረዘንቴሽን ነው ሐሳቡ ሰፊ ነው እና ዋይደር ኦዲየንስ ሊነጋገር ወደሚችልበት ቀድሞ ወደ ተቀስኳቸው ሴንተሮች ኮንታክት ማድረግም ኢንትረስት አለኝ አርኪቴክት ማህበርም ይሄ ኢንትረስት አለው ስለዚህ ከቤት እስከ ከተማ ማአከል ወይም የሴንተር ፎር አርኪቴክቸር ኢን ኢርባኒዝም በካንቲቦ ስር ያለው አዲስ የተከፈተው ከሁለት አንዳቸው ኦነርሺፕ ወስደው አርኪቴክት ማህበር ፕላትፎርሙን አዘጋጅቶ ዲስከሽኑን ለማምጣት ሬዲ ነው እና መወያየት መጀመር አለበት ያን ፕረዘንቴሽን እዚ ላይ በጣም ጥሩ አቅጣጫ የተመለከትኩት ብዙ ነገር መነጋገር እንዳለብንና በእንደነጋገር እኛና ፖሊሲ ሜትር መቀራረብ እንደምንችል በደንብ የሚያሳይ ነው እንደ እኔ አጠር ያለሽ ማጠቃለያ ነው የምሰጠው ግን ላንቺ ነው መድረኩን የምሰጠው 
መጨረሻ ላይ የምትጨምሩ ምጥያቸው ነገሮች ካሉ ማለት እኔ በመጀመሪያም እንዳልኩት ሄ ዚስ ኢዝ ኖት ማይ ኤሪያ ኦፍ ስፔሻሊቲ አም ሹር በዚህ ኤሪያ ላይ ሞር ስፔሲፊክ ኖሌጅ አላችሁ በጣም ብዙ ፕሮፌሽናሎች ላይ ማቃለው ዋን ናው ዊነን ፕረዘንቴሽን እናርጎስን ባባል አክሴፕት ያደርኩበት ምክንያት እነዚህ ቶፒኮች አሁን ዲስከስ እየተደረጉ አይደለም እኔ እስከማያው ድረስ አትሊስት ፐብሊክ ኮንቨርሴሽን የለም በእነዚህ ኢሹዎች ዙሪያ እና ዩ ኖ ፕሮፌሽናል በሆነ መልኩ በደንብ ያሉትን አርጉመንቶች ሁሉ አስቀምጠን በደንብ መዋያት ያለብን መስለናል ይመስለኛል ስፔሻሊ አት ዚስ ክሪቲካል ፖይንት because ሁኔታ ለምናገር አሁን በጣም ክሮስ ሮድ ላይ ነው ያለ ነው ማሲቭ ፖለቲካል ሺፍት አርገናል ማሲቭ ኢኮኖሚክ ሺፍት ያደረገ ነው አዲስ አስራ አመት ፕላን ይወጣ ነው ዩ ኖ እና እንቀጥለው ዴኪ ዲፋይንድ የሆነ ነው ኦሬዲ በጣም በፈጣን ሁኔታ ማለት ነው እና በጣሄ ፕላትፎርም ያ አርክቴክቸር ሃይ ፕላትፎርም በጣም ትሩ ፕላትፎርም ነው ያነጋግረናል within the architectural community ከዛ ባለፈ ደግሞ ግድም እየተከስካቸው ፕላትፎርሞች በጣም ቆንጆ ፕላትፎርሞች ናቸው በዚህ ጉዳዮች ላይ በደንብ ኤክስፐርቲስ ያላቸው ሰዎች ተገኝተው ከዚህ በደንብ በሰፋ መልኩ ብንነጋገርባቸው ብሳተፍ በጣም ደስ ይለኛል እና ላመሰግነ ነው ምፈልበው ፕሮክሬነን ቶፒክ አትሊስትንሽ መጀመር ስለፈቀድክ ቴንክ ዩ በጣም ተሰግናለሁ እሺ ሰላም እኔም በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ጥርሽና ክብረሽ ቆንጆ ፕሬዘንቴሽን አዘጋጅተሽ ሁላችንም ለረጅም ጊዜ መንነጋገርበትን ፕሬዘንቴሽን ስላሳየሽንና ለጥሩ ውይይት እኔም መላው አርክቴክት ኮሚኒቲ በኢትዮጵያ አርክቴክቶች ማህበር አባላት ስምና እንዲሁም በራሴ ስም በጣም ነው ማመሰግናለሁ እሺ ብርክ ኦኬ እሺ ቴንክ ዩ መልካም ቀን አመሰግናለሁ ኦልካም ቀን እሺ